Cool. I got tattooed in Japan. It was sketchy. Really? There's not a lot of tattoo artists there. Well, because you, they just changed the law, but up until a few months ago, you had to have a, a beard to be a fully qualified doctor as well as a oh, tattoo. Oh, wow. My because, guy was not a doctor. Yeah, well, he's pretty <laughs> sketch. He's probably some Yakuza thing. He was a doctor of playing metal music. Oh, he's probably a Yakuza dude. <laughs> yeah, you have to, you used to have to have a doctor's license. Yeah. So, like, go to med school for like seven years. His, and then shop like, was oh, like, make- his shop was like in a basement under a real business, and there was yeah. no sign. Yeah, maybe it was Yakuza. But he was just stoked to tattoo an American. Yeah, it's pretty Yakuza. It's pretty a Yakuza. So Did you do the fuck. video with the Yakuza guy? Uh, that was Joey. That was Joey. Uh, but he told me all about that. It seemed fucking terrifying. Yeah. I mean, that, those. I think they were legit. Like, uh, he was showing me pictures of the other dude who was like the manager of the Yakuza dude. And he looked super Yakuza. Yeah. Had like the pimp jacket on and everything. Like, like, like dripped out. It was crazy. There's like a, a GTA there's, character. There's a documentary like about, uh, I think, drug cartels where this like ex, um, what is it? SAS in 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 the uk like the special british forces yes yes yeah and and he's like this jacked, oh, the in-betweeners yeah mm-hmm. it's the guy from the in-betweeners but he's just really good at shooting rifles but he has this jack dude and he's like i'm gonna go like hang out like okay why I'm are you good. always now you're, nervous. Know. now you're nervous i'm just getting, that's fine go ahead i, I won't up. judge you i will but i won't i'm gonna go hang out with a cartel he says and he does <laughs> and he does and they like respect him and he's like uh, who would you like to kill? He's talking to like some Sicario from from the cartel, and they, and they translate it, and the guy's like, uh, someone like you. Yeah. And he's oh. like, what? and they're laughing, and he's like, why? He's like, you're just like you're a motherfucker, and I've never killed a motherfucker before. Like, <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. There video. are there's a subculture within these groups, like gangs and, and giant organizations and yeah. cartels, where they like they want to be talked about. Yeah, they and they like want to like let you know that they're fucking badass, and they won't kill you if yeah. you're doing a documentary. Yeah, I remember I used to have that that question when I watched like Vice stuff like that. It's like, why would they video like have all of this on video? Like, why would the op be in like a whole documentary? It's because like, this is like fucking mm, cool. They want to show it yeah. off. I, 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 was, I filmed this one video at a, a strip club, and um, we had overran our time a little bit, and I presumably the owner came in, and he was like, he must have been like eighty. But he, he looked like, you know when someone walks in and you know they're in charge? Yeah. yeah. He walks in, there's like three dudes but right behind him and he starts getting angry that we're not done and starts like just shouting at these dudes and going off on one. And I was like, okay, okay. This is in Japan. Yeah, this is in Japan. I was just freaking out because this dude was like looking angry and I was packing up, packing up, trying to get out. And then he started like just shouting more. And then as we were leaving, we just heard him like fucking going off on one. I have no idea what happened. Oh. And I, he was just pissed off that we'd overran and that we were filming in his club and that we didn't finish. And we could said you understand would. what he was yelling? Some things was like, yeah, he was, he was, he was yelling some stuff about me being a foreigner and being there and Kassar, stuff. Kassar, Connor. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they only have like one insult. It's Kassar. Yeah, they always say that What's one. That? Just it's everything. It's like, like the, it's the catchall. It's like shit, asshole, okay, like okay. fucking I asshole. I know because Naruto says it a lot. Kassar. Oh, so you can say it in in kids shows. Uh, yeah. Well, anime is not for well. It's like fifteen year olds. Yeah, I guess so. Well, anime is not for kids. So well, uh, it's like for big cool well, adults. I wouldn't understand. Uh, this is the monsters, <laughs> um, actually, well, also Japan, you're an adult at fourteen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this is news to me. The the, oh, the age oh, of consent. Oh, oh yeah. yeah well, Isn't that fucked up? Yeah, that's really fucked up. Yeah. Well, we're okay. not cool with that. Japan, <laughs> we're so, beefing. The yard in Japan are beefing because of that. It's, it's it's pretty bad. Like Unless you, you let me in. When you go there and you, you see some of the stuff there, it is kind of like, whoa. I, d- I think pretty... it's fucked up. Like, I don't know. I've I saw always... some pretty oh. wild shit at a very normal bookstore, I have to say. <laughs> dude, what's crazy is he, his phone, when he takes a picture, oh, yeah. it will do, do it, do it, do the, do the thing, do the thing, do so the thing. Even though it's I'm on like the lowest, I put all my volume to zero. If I take a picture, I... I always it makes a sound i can't because of the perverts yeah that's that's fucking crazy yeah because of the really what issue. the perverts because oh. people will take little pictures on trains of people under skirts yeah, yeah. and so they and now the phones will be like touching <laughs> the pervert yeah. trying to fart over his camera sound <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, it, it, it literally doesn't matter because like on rush hour the trains are so packed where like it's it's so easy to do yeah and, uh, crazy. yeah it's called a, it's called a chicam and it just means like a pervert and this it's a really big problem it's really big. And oh. that's why they, on, during rush hour, they have girl only train carts. Right. Wait, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't realize it was that pervasive. I always figured it oh, was a thing so that bad. was like blown up because it's just like kind of a. No, no, it's, like it's a, as bad as people say it is. Is it's that why really having your phone out problem. in public transport is frowned upon or is that just like a privacy thing? Oh, uh, no, you can have your phone out. You can't call. Oh, okay. People do it though. Japanese people do it. But if call? like, if I, yeah, if I did it, they'd probably, oh. so, someone would, I was someone getting would tell me. Are you a gaijin if you fucking make that call, dude? Yeah, yeah. I've seen Japanese people do it, but I'm too afraid to do it. Sure. 
I, don't I feel want, I don't so bad. Every time we say like, it, it's clear that we'll say something in response to you that you've heard a thousand times, and you're like, "Yes, honey, I'm sorry." <laughs> no, I, I mean it's like I've been doing it too. We and, uh, we, we speak about it so much. So like, I I it's it's hard because like Japan is such an amazing place. But there is a lot of weird and fucked up shit. Like like any country, okay, it, country it, it has yeah. its problems. There's like, you know, like um, uh, one thing that is like <laughs> commonly told that people like, they, they just don't believe it. And you d- it's hard to believe until you're there. But like- cheating- meat, lo- meat lotteries. Meat lo- <laughs> what? Oh, you don't know about it's, this one? No, okay, this never is, mind. Go, okay, go, 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 go. There's a like cheating culture is so bad in Japan. Cheating? Like, like, like cheating every, on your spouse? Everyone cheats. There. Really? Everyone cheats. That's so sad. Because like if you talk to a Japanese girl and- um. Sometimes they'll just be like, hey, yeah, like, yeah, my boyfriend, he's allowed to sleep with anyone he wants as long as he just doesn't like have a relationship with them. Because they're like, it's just like him getting it out of his system. <laughs> is that hey, cheating or back. like polyamory, right? Or is there like a resentment there? Well, they don't like it, but they're like- I don't think like, they would they could do the like, same thing. They're like, like, it's the men. He, you know, so they, you do uh, meet girls who are like this. It's really strange. That's so sad. They're like, I feel but girls 30 years behind. Girls do it too. Well, are there men in the culture who are like, yeah, sweetheart, you can go fuck whoever you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're okay with that? S- maybe not okay with it, but some people are. It's really weird because they, they have love hotels as well. Yeah. And those are mainly, yeah. that's why there's so much privacy. Like they cover your number plate when you drive in. And then when you go to the desk to check in, there's no one there. Is a love hotel automated. where prostitution occurs, or is it you bring people to the love hotel Both. to have sex? Okay, I see. So love you can you take you would take the prostitute there. Not that it's, I have done that, obviously. But, <laughs> but I like how here it's just fucking Motel Six with a oh, broken God. ass laundry machine and a pool full of chlorine. But, but if you try and go with two guys, um, they they they'll stop you. Really? Yeah. So we did a video, me and Chris, uh, abroad in Japan, where we went and um went to Osaka and we went to go into these love hotels to review them. And even though it's all focused around privacy and you wouldn't see anyone, the moment we like went in the machine, we checked in, we got our money. As we go into the elevator a few times, some dude would come running out and we'd be like, no, 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 sorry, you can't, you can't. Wait, you can't. even in June? In June, yeah. <laughs> wow. Even in June. Even, wow, even Japan. In, even in June during Pride Month. Can you <laughs> believe that? That's fucked up. And it's illegal. <laughs> it would be more fucked up, I guess, if it, oh, they're like June, they're like, and then July 1st, it's like, get him yeah. out. He's holding the Chick-fil-A. He's like, I'm just, I, I hate to do July this, man. July 1st, got a desk full of Chick-fil-A. I hate to do it. Yeah. It's was illegal it, as well. Wasn't there like a big breakthrough recently? I thought Japan just legalized gay marriage or something no, like that. No, sir. It, oh, it's like, it, uh, this is so confusing because like loads of shit gets reported on about Japan and it's kind of like half true. It's like Japan got rid of the restriction that was there. Uh, like Because now in Japan, marriage is a thing that is between uh, you and the local government. So it's not like a, a, oh. a nationwide thing, uh, but there's still you still I think you still can't get married. Um, same sex. Did you marry a capybara? If you wanted to, really? Some, uh, someone married like a DS. Uh, the I don't know how sleep, that works. Uh, the DS? Yeah, someone married a Nintendo DS. Wow. 